Classification of liabilities has always been a challenge. Amendments to IAS 1, Presentation of Financial Statements, helps to clarify these rules. Depending on how we interpreted it in the past, we may or may not have an impact on the classification going forward. One of the classic examples is when we have bank covenants. If these were assessed at year end, they may have been complied with and they may still be classified as non-current and you might not have any change. Where it gets complicated is convertible notes. Convertible notes by themselves were already complex. We have to determine whether or not they're a liability, a compound instrument or a hybrid instrument. Once this has been determined, we now need to determine the classification as current or non-current. Depending on the equity conversion feature, it may or may not be current or non-current, and this can get quite complex. In our article, we set out two examples of very similar convertible notes that end up in different classification as current and non-current. 